Hi guys, Daniel here. Welcome to my Atlas walkthrough series. In this video, we will have a look on the mechanics with building ships. To build ships in Atlas, we first need the skills required to construct shipyards, the ships, and their sails. As I'm making this video and the game being in early access, the skills needed are found in the seamanship category. With the right skills unlocked, we can construct the shipyards in the smithy. The different ships in this game are built in their specific shipyard. As we hover the mouse over a shipyard in the crafting panel, we can see what ships we can construct in it. In this video, we will build a cog ship in the basic shipyard and a schooner in the small shipyard. With enough resources in the smithy, we can make our constructions. With a shipyard in our pocket, we go down to the water. You might want to dive in and have a look, so it's deep enough. If it is too shallow, we will run aground the ships as we release them. To place the structure, I drag the shipyard to my hotbar and press the corresponding key. To align structures in Atlas, I toggle between first person and free camera mode. That would be K key on PC. Now with the shipyard in place, we can interact with it and see what's available. If the shipyard is empty for you, you need to unlock the ships in the skill tree. You have to move the required resources from your inventory into the shipyard inventory. When your ship highlights, you can construct it. Here we build the cog. This is a modular ship that is pre-built with a medium handling sail and a steering wheel. For those kind of ships, we can build modules in our smithy and put them on the boat. As an example, I will craft two single gun port modules and one diving attachment module. What limits us here is that the ship has a unit value and the modules got a unit cost. I would not be able to place two double cannon modules and a diving attachment on this ship. So this cost system is why we build different ships for different objectives. You can replace the sails. The different sails need to be unlocked in the skill tree, then they are made in the loom. 
to replace the sail, we first demolish the old one. And then the new one will snap to where you can place it. Ships also have a unit value for the sales, and the sales have a unit cost. So there are limitations to what sales and how many sales we can place on a ship. Where you decide to place the sales is pretty much up to your liking and how you want to design your ship. I tend to place one sail far in the front and one more to the back. This creates some room in the middle of the ship. The different sail types provide different abilities to your ship. Speed sails make the ship faster with the wind. Handling sails make the ships easier to navigate and turn. Weight sails add to maximum weight capacity. So, what else do we need? I recommend you to place some specific structures on your ships. A bed for respawning, of course. Some storage boxes for all your items. Then this one. This is a ship resource box. This special box can fit loads of different materials. When you have crew on your ship, they will automatically withdraw their payments when you have gold stored in this box. You also want a bookshelf to store all the blueprints and the songs we loot. We want to bring an ammunition box from where the cannons will withdraw their ammunition. We also want this larder that holds the foods. NPC crew will automatically withdraw foods from this larder. Aboard the ship we also want a smithy so we can make repairs and create grappling hooks etc. A mortar and pestle will always be handy. And of course a water barrel. I place it on a deck, make sure it's open. So when it rains, it will refill on water. And of course some cozy campfires that will keep us warm and uh, provide delicious grilled fish. When we are done with the ship, it's time to release and name her. Alright, next up we're gonna have a look at the other type of ship construction, where we get a hull and where we have to put all the planks in manually. In the smithy we construct a small shipyard. Make sure to take some notes on different types of the shipyards and their construction costs. Then we place the shipyard in a suitable location in the water and again make sure it's deep enough to release our ships. We drag the needed resources and construct a schooner hull.
Now we need to craft planks, gun ports, steering wheels and decks in the smithy. The different ships use different sizes when it comes to the building pieces. Hovering the craftable item should provide some information for what we need to craft. The schooner holds two decks, so we're crafting those in the smithy. For the moment, as this video is made, we need about 28 planks to complete the hull. If we want, we can fit 10 cannon gun ports on the schooner. Those will then be built instead of the solid planks. Before we go and place our planks, it can be a good idea to bring a ladder, so we don't get stuck inside when all the planks are in place. Now, to place the planks, I drag them to my hotbar, then press the corresponding key. The planks will now snap in place. Same thing with the gun ports. They will also snap in place. And finally, we're going to place the two decks. I will place cannons in right now to provide a good overview for what's going on with the layout as we will customize our ship. Cannons must also be unlocked in the skill tree and then they are made in the smithy. In this video, I will just show how it works with customizations. I will not showcase a specific Sconer build at this point. So what you do now is to customize your ship using wooden structures. We use wooden ceilings to fill the upper deck. We can build the captain's quarters using walls, ceilings, door frames and doors. We can also build a platform with ramps and add backward facing cannons. I always prioritize to have some cannons facing backwards since I find it easier to take out the ships of the damned when they are chasing me. One important note is that the ship planks can prevent wooden structures from being placed. This can be worked around if you place the wooden structure first and then place the ship plank piece in place. As I mentioned before, the sails are made in the loom and the different sails must be unlocked in the skill tree. 
Here I'm going with one medium speed sail and one medium handling sail for the schooner. In the smithy, we can also craft attachments to our ships. We got a diving platform, a dinghy hangar, and a cargo rack. The diving platform provides a diving suit. This one being powered by oil and we can use the suit to dive for treasures next to shipwrecks. The cargo rack is used to transport bigger amount of items and resources. As we're placing cargo racks on the ship, we will decrease the ship speed. What's nifty with the rack though, is that items being placed inside the rack will weigh less. If we get in trouble, we can drop the cargo in the water to get the speed back on our ship. Then we can come back and pick up the cargo again when the situation is a bit better. What about the dinghy hangar attachment? This one allows us to bring a dinghy on our travels. The real use for the dinghy hangar will be in the end game when we can craft a submarine. Right back to the ship. The steering wheel can be placed in a big variety of locations. I strongly recommend to placing the sails and the other attachments first to prevent the wheel from blocking placements of those attachments. On PvP, you might want to make sure to place the steering wheel at the protected location as you are an easy target while steering the ship. Another thing with building ships is the crow's nest. They are there, but there are no ladders going up there, so we have to craft and place our own. The rope ladders are crafted in the loom. If you play on PvP, you might consider having some swivel guns facing inwards, so you can shoot hostile players as they board your ship.
All right, this covers the basics of building ships in Atlas, and with this, it's time to wrap up this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider to subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot, and it would be very helpful. You stay safe now. Much love.